Okay, so let's start off with the American Society of Anesthesiologists grading, the ASA grading. Now, this is a system that's now widely used not only in the US but around the world as a way of classifying the underlying condition of an individual before they go into anesthesia because clearly there are some patients who are, are less likely to have problems and therefore are going to need less uh, preparation in terms of investigations beforehand, less sort of seniority of supervision and so on. And then other patients who are going to need much more workup and preparation and carry higher risks and may of course not be suitable. So let's start by looking at the grades and then we'll just talk briefly about how these are used. So ASA grade 1 is a healthy normal person. That includes the fact that they don't smoke and minimal drinking. ASA 2 is defined as mild systemic disease. Now that's a healthy person who smokes and the other things here, pregnancy, obesity, good diabetes, mild hypertension, mild asthma. So those will put you as an ASA 1 and 2, those two categories. So ASA 2 uh, has got mild disease and those two categories that we've just covered are generally seen as fairly low risk and straightforward anaesthetics. But then when we move to ASA 3, we're now getting onto more severe disease. So high blood pressure, bad diabetes, a history of a myocardial infarction in the past or a stroke, and the various other things that it talks about here, COPD, dialysis, defibrillate, uh, implanted pacemakers, etc. A fair degree of heart failure, ejection fraction below 40%. So a, a list of, of things there. And that's an ASA grade 3, going to need more supervision, etc. When you get to ASA grade 4, you're looking at the, um, the severe systemic disease that, that's a threat, life-threatening. So recent heart attack, stroke, TIA, ongoing cardiac ischemia or, or valve dysfunction, ejection fraction below 25%, so quite severe heart failure. So that's ASA 4. There's two more grades. So 5 is a, a patient who, if you don't operate on them, they're going to die anyway. So these are the people who, they're, they're really ill, but you've got to have to operate on them to, to save their lives. So that's your leaking aneurysm, intracranial bleed with mass effect. It's the, the things put there. Things that are make someone very ill, but you have to operate. Or you make a decision that they're not, they're in, not operable. And then the final grades are rather sad grade. This is just for somebody who's essentially brain dead, who you're going to take the organs. And so you're not therefore not concerned so much about the, uh, the welfare of the patient long term. 